Hello everybody, welcome to another video. My name is Memphis Bell 7072 Today we're going to be talking about a famous locomotive and one and only, the ATNSF 5000. The ATNSF 5000 was a prototype locomotive on the Santa Fe designed with a 210 four-wheel arrangement. As the prototype locomotive, it proved the success of a design concept. The historical marker by the Madam Queen notes that the Madam Queen was the only locomotive in its class. The reason for this statement was because the Depression prevented the Santa Fe from buying more locomotives of the same type for a number of years. But in 1936, Santa Fe purchased a set of 10 additional 210 four locomotives numbered from 5001 to 5010. These locomotives received a number of improvements over the Madam Queen and thus were designated the 5001 class of locomotive. Although by the time the number 5000 was placed into service, there were no longer given names. One of the first engineers that operated the number 5000 gave the name Madam Queen after a, a character on a popular Amos and Andy radio show. Originally built, the tender for the Madam Queen carried about 22,000 gallons of water and 27 tons of coal. In 1940, the amount of cream was converted to burn oil. The tender was replaced with a larger tender which still carries 20,000 gallons of water and includes a tank which held 7,107 gallons of fuel oil. The locomotive and tender weighed about 662,500 pounds and the ATNSF produced about 93,000 pounds of tractive force and held a boiler pressure of 300 pounds per square inch. During its career on the Santa Fe, the Madame Crane ran more than 1,750,000 miles. The Madame Queen was retired in service in 1953 and donated to the city of Amarillo in April 17th of 1957. A total of these five locomotives were saved from scrapping, of course, the number 5000 Madame Queen displayed here in Amarillo, number 5011 in the Museum of Transportation in St. Louis, Missouri, number 5017 was designated to preserved at the National Railroad Museum in Green Bay, Wisconsin, 5021 is stored at the California State Railroad Museum in Sacramento, and number 5030 is on display at Salvador Pierce in Santa Fe, New Mexico. All of these locomotives were pretty good at carrying long freight trains and they were used for passenger service. The 18SF 5000, however, had a very, well, interesting year in front of her, but she had a pretty good life. All of these locomotives are able to be seen. If you want to see more about the 18SF 5000, go visit this website and you will know more. The donation to this locomotive may actually bring her back to life. Well, that's it for the 18SF 5000. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more.